You say you're right. Okay. Yep. So uh, yeah, hi, I'm Paul. Um, you've probably all met me before. Um, I'm going to talk about using a Raspberry Pi as a local DNS resolver. So by that I mean the bit on your network that finds out the host name to IP address stuff and all that kind of stuff, not the thing that tells you what the DNS record is for a given specific domain. Um, it's usually provided by ISP. You can also use Google's 8.8.8.8 .8 or OpenDNS. There's, there's a few free ones. Um, why do you want to run it locally on your network? Um, part of the reason is you can bring the cache closer to your users, so your DNS queries don't have to leave your network. Um, if you're running a big network, that can help a bit because you're not sending everything off to your ISP. Um, there's also this horrible piece of stuff in the UK where the government can go to an ISP and say, we want you to intercept all of your customers' traffic and store it and give it to us, um, which is really horrible. If you pull your DNS data onto your network, it makes it harder but not impossible for them to do that. Uh, there's also a thing called QName minimization, which I'll talk about in a minute. And uh, basically, my principle is, although DNS records are public, your transactions with them, what you've looked up, are private or should be. Um, what you need, you need a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. Uh, you can probably use a zero, but it might not have enough, uh, enough memory. Um, Raspbian, or, or you can use Debian Jesse, it's pretty much the same thing. And a piece of software called Unbound. Um, so what is Unbound? It's a, basically a small, fast resolver. Um, it supports DNSSEC, which allows you to know that the record you have requested actually came from the place that you requested it from and hasn't been sort of modified in transit and stuff. It doesn't provide any end-to-end -end encryption, so anybody can snoop on it, but they can't change it, is basically the rough <laughs> idea. Um, Unbound also supports QNAME minimization after 1.5 to 8, so you have to pull it in from Jesse backports. Um, but it is, it is in Jesse backports. So QNIM minimization, if you make a DNS query, basically what happens is your resolver goes to the root name server and says, give me the record for example.com. And the root says, I don't know that, but I can tell you about .com. And it goes down, down the tree because it's distributed. The problem is that means the root name servers see all of your queries, which is not very privacy aware. Um, and also, they're never going to be able to answer your question about example.com. They don't have that data, so why ask them for it? Um, so it can leak some of your browsing history to, to other name servers. So basically, what QName minimization does is it, it asks the top-level domain just for .com. Then it asks .com for example.com, et cetera, et cetera. Um, does mean you get some more queries initially, because it's got to do a bit of clever stuff. And basically, if people have broken DNS, there's some hacks to get it around it, um, because people, some people run broken DNS, basically. And there's an RFC for it, so it's you know, kind of standardized. Um, extra privacy, um, yeah, your ISP can still log everything going out on port 53 if they want to, um, but they can't just go and look at their DNS server logs and, and grab those. They've got to make a bit more effort. What you can do if you run this Raspberry Pi on your network, you could then have an SSH tunnel out to, say, an Amazon instance, route all your DNS queries out through that, and then your ISP, in theory, never sees your DNS traffic, um, which, is, which is quite nice. Um, there is also a DNS over TLS um, RFC, although at the moment that is only between your computer and your local resolver. It's not between you and the, the sort of end server that actually answers, answers the query. Um, so thanks for listening. If you want to have a crack at this, the slides, and there's an Ansible playbook, which you, you can change it to put your IP address in, basically, um, and then run that playbook on a Raspberry Pi with nothing apart from Raspbian on it, and it will set it up and install Unbound, and it comes with a configuration file that sets all this up for you, and it has a firewall and all that kind of stuff. I run this on my home network, and it kind of just worked. I started it in January, and it just nobody said your DNS is broken, or nobody said I can't access Netflix, so I presume it's working. Um, and that's my email address if you want to ask me anything about this. And that was definitely as evil just before one minute. Just before one minute. <laughs> Send the standards view all there.